This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook 15 CB5-571 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook 15 CB5-571. Uh, before we get started, a couple of things. Um, for the, this Chromebook, for the CB5 model, there are several different screen sizes, so make sure the one that this video is for is for the CB5-571 15.6 inch Chromebook. Um, if the palm rest is missing where this part number is, you can go on the bottom of the laptop and the part number will be on the bottom, CB5-571. Okay, the other thing is when you want to make sure your laptop is turned off. When you open and close the laptop, or close and open the laptop, it will turn off by its, it will turn on by itself. So you can either turn it back off by doing a long press of this power button, or you can turn it off using the software. So there's a shutdown. You click on shutdown on the lower left hand corner and it turns off. If during the procedure you accidentally touch this power button and turn it on, just do a long press and it'll turn off. Okay, next thing is the tools we're going to use. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and small screws. And we pair have a hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up adhesive tape. So to get started, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out. And in this way, work your way around the screen, snapping it off on all parts. If you get stuck at a certain point, then come back to that point later after you sna snapped off, snapped it off in other places. So keep working your way around the screen and same thing on the bottom and the bezel snapped off. This one is pretty easy to snap off. Okay, next thing, the screen assembly is exposed. We have to remove the screen from the screen assembly. There's two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So make sure you remove the, let's get a good focus, there we go. Make sure you remove the inner screws, the lighter colored screws here and here, not the darker outer screws. And same thing on the bottom, make sure you remove the two inner screws, not the darker outer screws. So to do this, we have the screen assembly gently tilted back so the doesn't screen doesn't fall forward when you remove the screws, and use our screwdriver to remove the screws one by one. And one, two, three, and four. Okay, once you remove the screws gently grab the screen by the sides or by the mounting tabs and lay it down. We want to lay it down such a way that it doesn't touch the power button so we don't accidentally turn the laptop on. And then the next step is to remove this connector from the bottom of the screen. To do this we use our hobby knife to lift the corner of the adhesive tape and lift up the adhesive tape and then once we do that, we pull the connector out like so. I'm going to show you how to reconnect it. So when you reconnect it, you push the connector back in and you feel two clicks. Let's get a close up of this connection. This is what a properly connected connection should look like. The two, the two sides should be flush. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Okay, we pull the connector out and we look at this screen. This is a 15.6 inch EDP Full HD IPS screen. I know that's a mouthful, so what 
EDP stands for. It's a 30 pin connector instead of a 40 pin connector. Full HD stands for the resolution and IPS is the liquid crystal type. Okay, so this laptop takes two types of screens. They are, they are interchangeable. You can use the full HD screen that's originally in this laptop or you can use the standard HD screen. They look exactly the same. The part number is going to be look a little bit different. The standard HD screen, which is a lower resolution, and you can put either one in this laptop. In this case, we have a full HD IPS screen. The part number for this particular screen is LP156WF4-SPL1. This is the part number you look up when you buy the screen and also there are several different part numbers for the exact same screen. So when you are looking for a screen you want to make sure you get the resolution right, the full HD or standard HD and also if you want a matte finish or a glossy finish. Most of the screens you encounter for this resolution will be a matte finish but if you wanna, if you want to be specific on each one you gotta specify it. Okay, uh, this screen, this particular screen is also available from Screen Surgeons from us. And what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. If we don't send you the right screen, then we'll make it right for you and send you the right screen. We also have a two year warranty on screen defects and free email technical support. Finally, this exact same toolkit that I use in this video comes for free with the screen and we inside the United States we have free priority mail two to three day shipping and if you live outside the United States we can ship to most countries around the world just go through our standard checkout procedure and specify your country okay to order the screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com there will be a short form for you to fill out where you specify the laptop model and then we'll guide you to find the right screen online. Once you do get the screen in, make sure it's the right screen, make sure the form factor is right and it is full HD and then you install it. So reconnect the connector as I showed you, mount it in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on and turn on to try it out and that should be it okay once again my name is Eugene Panrutkovich I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck